Welcome to Faith Revival Hornets Church, also Faith Revival Place International. I'm your host, Minister and Prophet M.G. Mays. Let us begin in prayer. Father, we thank you, Father, that your perfect love of your spirit, Yeshua HaMashiach, Jesus, casts all out fear. It's not our love that casts the fear out, but it's your love, God, that casts all fear out of our lives. So we grab a hold of your love, not what we muster, or maybe someone else can muster for us. But it's God's love that casts all out fear. So we thank you, Father, for that. We thank you, Father. We're going to flow in the spirit of Yeshua today and every day. We thank you, Father Yahweh, for all that you do. I pray for healing. Pray for signs and wonders and miracles. We thank you, Father, for your perfect judgment and perfect revival as well. We thank you and praise you, O God. Mighty. Amen. Today's sermon is called Flow in the Spirit of Yeshua. Flow in the Spirit of Yeshua. Flow in the Spirit of Yeshua. Amen. Let's go to um, Exodus. Shemot. Chapter 6, verse 2 through 5. 2 through 5 of 6 of Exodus. Amen. And the word of God speaketh and saith, God spoke to Moshe. He said to him, I am Yahweh. I appear to Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob as El Shaddai, which is the spirit of the living God, which is Jesus, Yeshua. Although I did not make myself known to them by my name, Yahweh, Yahweh. Also with them, I establish my covenant to give them a land of Canaan and the land where they wandered about and lived as foreigners. Moreover, I have heard at the groanings of the people of Israel, for whom the Egyptians are keeping as slavery. And I, and I have remembered my covenant. Who has remembered his covenant with what? With those that are that are that are his elect, he remembered his covenant. Amen. And he remembers his covenant of today with us. Amen. The, our our Abrahamic um, messianic covenant we're in. Amen. He remembers his covenant with his peoples. Amen. Fear not. It says in the scriptures, my little flock, for I have overcome the world. Even our faith. Amen. That's how great God is. Hallelujah. So let's flow in the spirit of God. Yahweh was literally telling us that his spirit is El Shaddai. And in the spirit of God, which is Jesus Christ, uh, that ministered to Abraham, Isaac, and J uh, uh, Jacob. And I would put Yahshua, uh, J uh, uh, J uh, um Joseph, yeah, and we can put Joshua in there as well. Yes, thank you, Father, for speaking that. And you know, Moses, uh, Moshe, he he was the the perfect prophet that was after the order of of uh, Enoch Melchizedek. Amen. So we need to understand how wonderful God is. That God has a plan for our life. So let's flow in the spirit. You know, it's a, when you got everything right, you should be building for when it's not so right, like now. But that's okay because God's grace is sufficient for you. Amen. And even though we all have our thorn in the flesh called uh, the government, called the politicians, called the viruses, they're out there called many different names. We all have, you know, different levels of these things. But we need to flow in the spirit of God because that's going to make it that much better for us and others. Amen. And we're, we're obeying the ways of God when we do that. Amen. Because it's, it's, it's the word, acknowledging the word, spiritually going in the natural but then flowing in the spirit in god's presence and flowing and and obedience of the spirit of god as well as the things of the natural that we understand that they're spiritual that go to the natural but also the reaction 
that we need to have of, of that as well that we're learning today, aren't we? Praise God. So let's go to Luke, Luca, chapter 2, verse 8 through 14. Yeah, you know, your parents are maybe expecting a child. That's a good middle name, Luke. It just just threw it out there. That, throw that out there for people. And you know what? I pray over all the 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 expected mothers right now. I I pray a, a, a angel of joy and gladness over them, and and protection, angel of protection over them. Everything's gonna be fine. We have a healthy baby. Just keep them in an area that's safe, even after they're born. You know, you want to, you, you, the first year, you got to, you know, walk on eggshells, so to speak. Um, and those that have had a lot of kids understand that. And those that, you know, babysat kids, and you know, can understand that too. Uh, but everything will be good, okay? Remember, children are a gift of God. So is our elderly. We don't we don't admit that a lot, but the elderly would be in that group too. The children are a gift of God, but our elderly are, are, are a gift even greater for us to be, behold of their wisdom and understandings. Amen. So we, we gotta remember those things. We gotta we gotta remember there's two sides of a coin, right? And some would argue say there's the rev of, of the middle, the the edge uh, edge would be a third. Uh, side, but it will, for the argument's sake, we do all agree there's two sides to the coin. And so, just like that, there's two sides that we need to look at. The the the, uh, the babies that be, become youth, um, they, they are precious, but also our elderly are just as much precious. And, and another realm of that, because remember, there's the the head of the coin, and there's the tail of the coin, okay? There's a starting place, and there's an ending place, which a lot of us would agree the tail would be the ending place, and the head would be the starting place of looking at that coin. Amen. All right, well, we're, we're going to Luke, aren't we? And we're going to, okay, so let us, let us uh, be ministered now in the, um, and these things, amen. God loves you, and I love you too. I expect the best out of you, and I know you can do many things too. You, you, you all are divergents, meaning the word divergent means you can do many things, not just one thing in life, but many things. God, God has made you all special. You can do a lot of different things, not just one thing in life, amen. Just like a parent, hey, they have to they have to do a lot of different things. I mean, but sometimes we forget all life can be that way. It's a gift of God. So let's go forth and, and all be in divergence for God. To having different things we can do for each other, for our family over here with this and that, with your job, with uh you know, with uh your playtime, happy times, you know, all these things. So just explain. Expand your realms of possibilities, amen, as you flow in the spirit of Yeshua, amen, every day. So we're going in 2 of 8 of 14 of Luke right now, praise God. But I wanted to, to emphasize those things um, because they're important. They're, they're, you know, they're very wonderful and understandable that we need to understand that that God has a purpose for our lives, many purposes, not just one, for our lives, in different realms of of what He has that to be. So that's why we're gonna flow in the Spirit too, because and it's 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 one thing to read the Word, it's understanding of the Word and and and, and partaking of the Word, and you know, but spiritually into the natural, but also it's another thing to flow in the Spirit of God that they work together hand in hand. Amen. All right. Well, the word of God says, amen. In the uh, countryside nearby were some shepherds spending the night in the field, guarding their flocks. When the, when the angel of Yahweh appeared hello, to them 
and the Shekinah of Yahweh shined around them. Because remember, the Spirit of God can be many places, is all present, right? And it was right there into a baby, but you know, he can be, he's all present, the Spirit of God, so he can be out there ministering at the same time. Amen. The Shekinah of Yahweh shined around them, and they were testifying, but they but the angel, which means messenger, said to them, Don't be afraid. See, God told them not to be afraid, so why are you being afraid now? God said to them, Don't be afraid. So use that as uh, encouragement to not be afraid right now on things. Don't be afraid because I'm here to anoint, to, to announce to you a good news that with brings great joy to all peoples this very day in the town of David. Amen. There was born for you a deliverer, which deliverer means Yesha. And that's a uh, part of his name within the name of Yeshua. You can, you can see there's Yesha in his name, which means deliver. So he is the Yahweh that saves humanity. That's what Yeshua means. But also Yesha is in his name, which means deliver. But also we can go on. He's our provider, our Yaira. Phil. Um, so this would be Yesha and, and, uh, Hebrew, deliver. Who is our Messiah? Mash, uh, um, ha, Hashem, Messiah. The Yahweh, Yahweh, because that's what that means, Yahweh. Here is how you will know. You will find a baby wrapped in clothing. It's wrapped in clothing. Amen. Can you picture the Spirit of God as a baby wrapped in clothing? And he's Yahweh says he's Yesha too. He's the deliverer. Amen. Wrapped in clothing, laying in the f in, and feeding through. Suddenly, all along, the angels were vast armies from heavens praising God. Could you see that? The, the, all of them praising God. All the, the all the angelic accord praising God. And, and, and the, the shepherds are seeing all this. Are, are the shepherds of today seeing this? Are they part of this today symbolically of, of, of seeing that? Hindsight. Are you seeing it? Amen. Praise God. In the in in uh, in the highest of heavens, glory to God, and to all, all the earth, peace among peoples of goodwill. Amen. People need to hear these precious words in fourteen, the verse of fourteen, right now. Very much so. So take these words. I'm going to say them slowly and very eloquently as best I can. As as like a high priest when they need to slow it down. The words so the words can penetrate the very, very essence of who you are as a human being in the highest of heavens. Glory to God, and on earth, peace among people of goodwill. The blessings of God on of, of that priestly wrestling of heaven be upon your hearts and minds right now. Amen. Remember, there's a lot of that in the Bible. There's a lot of priestly blessings in the Bible, heavenly and this um, spiritually, uh, earthly too, that God has in his words. And we've got to acknowledge that and give that time to, to speak to each of you. Amen. And, and, and so the ministers of all sorts need to make sure that they pronounce those things. Upon the people, those good, good tidings of great joy, Amen. Of God's word, of when it's when it's those kind of things, Amen. The Acts of the Emissaries, chapter one, verse four through five, four through five of one of of Acts of the Emissaries. Now, some people call them apostles, but correctly, they're emissaries. Now, 
if you call him a, a apostle, that's fine. There's no big deal on it. You know that that's that's um, pretty close to you know what it is as well. It, it's this expression of two different words, but um, what it really is is emissary. They're emissaries of God. Amen. And God is calling forth to the deep of those to take up those callings as well today. Amen. But you've got to follow the the, the tight path. Of righteousness if that is what you're called to what God has called you to do amen it's very important all right so let us go now to acts of the emissaries the book of the acts of the emissaries of uh, four through five of verse of chapter one amen and it says at the one of these gatherings he instructed them not to leave Jerusalem, Jerusalem, but to wait for the Father's promise, Yahweh's promise. Amen. He speaks through the prophets. Amen. This Psalms and the and the, the those that are writers, Amen, of spiritual things, of, of God's promises, Amen. Uh, which you heard about them. For Yochumon, John, used to Im immerse people in water. But in a few days, you will be immersed in Arukadash, the spirit of Jesus. Amen. For this point, there are only the kings and prophets, the psalmists and uh, scribes, uh, Scribes meaning not the scribes and Pharisees that you hear in Yeshua's day, but the scribes that actually wrote the the things of the word and purity, not in the impurity they became. Amen. So let's understand that. And 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 the, I would say the Pharisees, but in the purity of what that is. Let's say a Pharisee. People get this wrong and they rebuke all these things without acknowledging what these things are okay they were wrong in yeshua's day and and the day when the grecians took over israel you know the macedonian grecian empire then rome but before then they were a holy institution and they are again in a lot of ways some of them and some aren't um but the ones that are what what a pharisee is okay as as a master of teachings they go the deep things, not just what they are, but they, they give the meanings behind meanings of what the words are. And they give it to the people and they look after the people's best benefits of where of like 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 a surgeon, like doing surgery on the people spiritually. You know, where there's a doctor, a doctor does helps you with little things but a surgeon goes in there and 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 does those deep healings that you need natural wise well a pharisee is like a surgeon he he goes in there and helps the people with things amen and it helps the the deep things that they need amen and so never say bad about that just say bad about how they didn't operate in that anointing of being a Pharisee or that anointing of being a scribe the, the correct way, okay, that it's supposed to be. Now, God reinstitutes things, just like the judges of day are not the judges that God instituted of the Bible. You can see that clearly, okay? So there's a lot of things that are good things, but then mankind, womankind gets a hold of it and dirties it, but God is in the business of cleansing and making whole again. Like he is doing now. Amen. Praise the king of glory. Amen. So God wants to immerse us with the spirit of Jesus. The, the spirit of God. The spirit of a holy God. Amen. So let's continue by going to uh, 2 Corinthians. I mean, Karash, uh, uh, Chronicles. I'll get it right. I'm sorry. 2 Chronicles. Okay. Chapter 7, 1 through 10. 
okay, which is Doveran Hemi uh, Bet, which which translates pretty closely to like a chronicle, but really it's it's genealogies uh, uh, of of different things, of words, of peoples, of names. Okay, and chronicles is a, a pretty accurate thing, but it, genealogies of, of things would be a, a little bit better, but it's more smoother to say chronicles. So, um, all right, so we're, we're going to 7 and 1 of 10 of 2, two of chronicles, amen. So that's where we're headed. And I hope you're turning to there. Um, so let us read. And then Shalomo. Shalomo is the name of Solomon in Hebrew, Shalomo, had finished praying. Fire came down from heaven and consumed the burnt offering and the, and, and the sacrifice. The glory of Yahweh filled the house so that the Kohims, which is the priests, could not enter the house of Yahweh because the glory of Yahweh filled the Yahweh's house and all the people of Israel saw when the fire came down and the glory of Yahweh was on the house and they bowed down with their face to the ground of the floor prostrating themselves they gave thanks to Yahweh for for he is good for his grace continues forever Hallelujah. Amen. But it doesn't stop there. Then the, then the king and all the people offered sacrifice before Yahweh. King Shulomo, King Solomon, offered a sacrifice of 22,000 oxen, 120,000 sheep. And thus the king and all the people dedicated the house of God. And the Kohims, the, the priests, stood at their appointed stations with the Levites used, used to inscribe that David the king had provided for making of music for, for Yahweh in order to give thanks to Yahweh. For this, for his grace continues forever by means of praising David and and um, and absent them, the, the Kohims sounded the, the shofars and trumpets, and all of Israel stood up. Shalomo also consecrated the center of the courtyard in front of the house of Yahweh, because he had to offer the burnt offerings and the fat of the peace offering there. For the bronze altar, which Shalomo had made, uh, could not receive the burnt offerings and the grain offerings and the fat. So Shalomo celebrated the festival at the time for seven days. Together with, with all of Israel. And there's seven major days in Pesach, Pesach leading to the um, uh, resurrection day, but the first century church celebrated in, as Pesach for also not just what Moses did, but what the Mashiach did, the Messiah did too. Amen. And they had come all the way from the entrance of uh, Hamat of the of the Vad of Egypt, and on the eighth day they held solemn assemblies, having observed the dedication of the altar for seven days and the festivals for the seven days. And then on the tw uh, 23rd day of the seventh month, he sent the, the people away to their tents full of joy and gladness of heart for all the the goodness Yahweh had shown to David, to Shalomo, Solomon, 
and to Israel, his people, his elect, and those that are saved today as well. Amen. For God is the same yesterday, today, today and forever. And what he's done before, he'll do again. Remember that. Remember that in your heart. Okay. For the Spirit of God uh, was sent there. That was the Spirit of God of Yahweh was sent as a fire. Just like the Spirit of God, which is Yeshua, came into the upper room. Amen. Do you see the, the do you see the greatness of our Lord and Savior that is the Spirit of Yahweh? How beautiful he is. Let's go back to the Acts of the Emissaries, chapter 16, verse 4 through 10. 4 through 10 of 16 of Acts of the Emissaries. Amen. Hallelujah. The scripture saith, and as they went on through the towns, they delivered uh, to the people the decisions reached by the emissaries and the elders in, in Jerusalem for them to observe. According, and the congregations were strengthened in faith, increasing in numbers day by day. Amen. And they traveled through the region of uh, 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 Thessalonica uh, and uh, Galatia, Be, uh, because they had been provided by Rukadash, the, the Holy Spirit of God, from speaking the message to the province of Asia. When they came to the to the frontiers of um, Mesia, they tried to go to uh, uh, Bithynia, but the spirit of Yeshua, the spirit of Jesus, would not let them go. So it's telling you who the spirit of of the Rukadesh is. The spirit of Yeshua. Rukadesh means the spirit of a holy God. But because let me read this again, I, I know that the names kind of throw things a little, you know, because we don't, you know. Let's start uh, around uh, B of uh, six, because they had been prevented by the Rukadesh, the, the spirit of a holy God, from speaking the message to the province of Asia when it came to the frontier of Mal. Mesa, and they tried to go to uh, Bethia, but the spirit of Yeshua, the spirit of Jesus, would not let them go. For after passing by Melissa, uh, they came to the town of uh, uh, Troas. Do you see? You see? You see clearly? Amen. Today, who the spirit of uh, the Holy Spirit is, it's the Spirit of Yeshua. Amen. It's very clear. And there's many passages where it says the Spirit of God, and I'll say the Spirit of the Messiah, the Spirit of, of Yeshua, very clearly. And this, Therefore, the vision appeared to, to uh, Shaul at night, Paul. And a man from um, Macedonia was standing and begging him, Come over to Macedonia, help us. As soon as he had seen the vision, we lost no time gathering ready to leave to Macedonia. For we con con concluded that God had called us to proclaim the good news to them. Amen. God has called us to proclaim the good news to the, Mas the, the Macedonians of today, of the earth. Uh, the people of the earth represent the people of the earth. Amen. But God Almighty, the Spirit of God, the Rukadesh, is the Spirit of Yeshua. It's, it's very clearly. It's the traditions of men and women that hold them back from seeing that clearly who the Spirit of God is. It's the Spirit of Jesus. And He's all present just like God is. So He can be in heavenly places like it says, but at the same time, He is with in men and women that are saved, that are the elect, but he's also uh, searching people's hearts 
as well and, and, and uh, directing the angels to go forth. Amen. So let this minister and stir your hearts today. For Yeshua HaMashiach is the Rukadash, the Spirit of God. The, the Spirit of Jesus is with us. Emmanuel, never forsake us, never leave us. Emmanuel, or when it said Emmanuel, remember that too. Amen. God forgives you, churches and sinners. God, just, just go and have lots of fellowship like never before in a deep manner, not a shallow manner like you've done. You didn't realize it, but now it's time to have a deep relationship with the Spirit of Jesus, the Rukadash. And, and Yahweh, remember Yahweh. Remember Yahweh and all these things. And thank Yahweh for what he's done. Our God Almighty, our Hashem, Amen. And and Hashem's spirit, you, the Rukadash, the spirit of Jesus. Amen. We're going to go to Joe now, which is Yol in, in, um, in Hebrew. The J is a Y in Hebrew. Uh, chapter 2, verse 25 through 27, going to 3 of 1 through 5. Amen. 3, three well, 1 through 5 of, of 25 through 27 of 2 of Joel. So let's head over the jewel. Amen. And it says in the word of God, it says, I will restore to you the years that the locusts ate, the grasshopper, the sure worm, the cutting worm, my great, uh, my great army that I have sent against you. And and you will eat until you are satisfied, and 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 well praise the name of Yahweh your God, who has done with you such wonders. And when my people will never again be ashamed, you will you will know that I am with Israel and also the elect of God today. Amen. And and that I am Yahweh your God that there is no other, and that my people will never again be ashamed. How many times do you say that? Quite a few, right? Two major times. And after this, I will pour out my spirit on all humanity. Your sons and your daughters will prophesy. Your old men will uh, dream dreams. Your youth men will see visions, and, and, and also on male and female employees, in those days I will pour out my spirit. I will show wonders in the sky and, and the, on the earth, blood and fire and columns of smoke. The sun will be turned into darkness and the moon into blood. Before the coming great day, ter uh, terrible day of Yahweh. Amen. This uh, Let's finish it out with that too, the uh, of five. Even though it, a lot of times they they say it's uh, it's uh, one. And at the the time, whoever calls on the name of Yahweh will be saved. Yahweh saves. Yeshua, Yeshua. Yahweh saves humanity. You see it very clearly. Yahweh saves. Yahshua, Yeshua, Yeshua. Yeah, yeah. The Yah is Yahweh, short, made short, and uh, Shua, Shua is salvation. Yahshua, for the mountains of, of Zion and Jerusalem, there will be those who escape, as Yahweh has promised, and also the survivors will be those who Yahweh has called. Yahweh has called us. So let's go forth in our callings. Amen. Praise God. Let's go to Mark. Mark chapter 16, verse 14 through 18. And Mark was a very brilliant doctor. Amen. The apostle Mark was. Amen. And it says... In verse 14 of 18 of 6 of Mark, it is says, 
Later, Yeshua appeared to the eleven as as they were eating, and he he reproached them for their their lack of trust and their spiritual intonations and in not having believed those who had seen him after he has raised. And then he said to them, as you will go through the world, proclaim the good news to all creatures. It says all creatures, amen. Whoever trusts and is immersed will be saved. Whoever does not trust will be condemned. And these are the signs that will accomplish those who trust in my name. They will drive out demons, speak with new tongues, not, not to be injured if they handle snakes or drink poisons, and heal the sick by laying hands on them. Amen. By faith and not by sight. Amen. I would add on that. Praise God. For this is what the Spirit of God had told us that we should do. Amen. And let's go to the, the last scriptural thought of this sermon today. It's Romans, Roma, chapter 15, verse 13. It's head over there, my brothers and sisters. Be blessed by the mighty Spirit of Yahweh, Yeshua, today. May the God and the source of hope fill you completely with joy and shalom. May the God, the source of hope, hope, fill you completely, completely with joy and shalom. Joy and shalom. Hold us to bring you the peace as you continue trusting, trusting, so that by the power of Arukadash, the power of Jesus, the power of Rukadash, you may overflow with hope. Overflow with hope today. This is the Spirit of God wants. Overflow in hope. Overflow by 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 the power of Rukadash, by the power of, of, of Jesus Christ, the Spirit of God. Overflow in hope today. Don't be in despair about the terrors by day and the arrow by night. For God Almighty is on his throne and his spirit is with us. Emmanuel. Amen. And he never forsake us or leave us. Even though we might go astray, God is searching for us and saying, come on back to, to me that have heavy landing. For I will bring rest and rest abundantly. Amen. Full of joy. Amen. So I'm, I want to pray over those that are lost today. God left the 99 to look and search for that one sheep that was lost out of the pen. And God is looking for that one sheep today as well. That is not part of that pen. And what his safety is. Today is the day of salvation. Today is the day to get saved and, and get delivered. For our God Almighty loves you and His Spirit loves you even greater because of all the things He went through when He took on the flesh of a human being, the Spirit of God, Yeshua HaMashiach, El Shaddai Shekinah, our Emmanuel. Amen. Get, it's, uh, just pray this prayer. If you want to renew your life in God, it's a great time to do it as well. Don't be shy. Just get right with God today. Pray this prayer. Dear God Yahweh, I ask you into my spirit, soul, and body as Lord and Savior in my life. Love you very much, Yeshua, Jesus. Amen. God loves you. I love you. Welcome to the family of God, little brothers and sisters. Now, I want you to start by reading all the John books. Start there. Don't worry about anything else. Read all any anything that says John. Read it. Okay. All right. That's pretty easy enough. Just start there. You know. 
And then uh, after you really read it, read it through a couple times all the John books, okay? And then, uh, and I want you to, if you, when you when you're done there, I want you to read Psalms and Proverbs and Deuteronomy. Just read it, read it, read it, read it all the way through. I, I, I take a little there from Deuteronomy, a little bit from Psalms, a little from Proverbs, like that. After you read all the John books again again and do it again and have lots of questions and i pray that uh, a mentor because the churches and synagogues and the holy temple should have people that are mature and in, in the ways of god you know and and they they're called elders in the bible or deacons but uh, i just for modern terms just call mentors and and people that will help you you can call up you can go to you can go to a diner or a coffee. In this case, you can, but we, it will be we'll speak it in faith. But you can at least call them on the phone and have coffee both of you on, when you're talking on the phone about things. Already with today's society, we got cameras, so you can on your phone you can talk to one another, and you can you know there are all the different camera apps you know and talk back and forth, and so you can keep close contact and there should be mentor a mentor program in every church so for young people that have just got saved because they're young because they just got saved then can um, talk to them and have coffee have a meal but in this case it would be a little bit on like on the phone having a meal with one or not eating something talking on the phone or talk on the camera and uh, you know that kind of thing so but look for a church our synagogue our temple that is real um, about holiness of God but also we're real about being a family learning how to and also they externally about helping those that are lost helping the elderly helping single moms or single dads and and you know that the, the great commission of these things amen look for those things be baptized in water very important because he, he we read a scripture on that and it's part of it is a, a secondary part of salvation because you're saying to everybody who sees you when you're being baptized in water uh, that i'm real serious you know it's an exterior thing to what you already did interior with, with with the confessions that you confess to God on salvation, amen. And then then when a lot of times when you get baptized in water, the also there's the baptism of the Spirit of Jesus that happens upon you as well, amen. So be looking forward to that as well. Sometimes that comes later. Sometimes it's just right before, and sometimes it's right when you be baptized in water. That baptism of the Spirit of God of Jesus happens then too um uh, that's why uh, a lot of these rabbis and pastors and ministers will have like a little study there just to confirm things and let you know that they're not gonna let you go so far under that they don't have their head around you you know the back of your head their hand will be there they just dunk you under and, and you come back up so there's no problems um they, they you know, you get you dunked under symbolizing to everybody as a witness that that's what you did. You you buried the old and you came up with the new. Amen. So it's a very beautiful thing, you know, salvation and getting right with God and getting in the Word and getting baptized in water and baptized in the Spirit of Jesus there and um, you know having people can fellowship on the phone or the camera with. And when this nonsense is done, you can go to the diner and a movie together and fellowship and have a great time and, and get, you know, get right, right down and having fun, you know. So I'm so proud of you. The, these things are so wonderful. Um, the angels of God are rejoicing when one comes to salvation, it says. And, and, and they're rejoicing right now. They're saying, hallelujah another soul 
came to the kingdom of God. And, and as another soul is out of the grips of Satan. They're now part of the family of Yahweh again. And then the spirit of God that has done everything for us. The spirit of Jesus. Amen. God bless you. Uh, let's end with the Shalom prayer. But before we do, I want to pray over the sick. I want to pray over uh, signs and wonders and miracles over you. A prayer of signs, wonders, and miracles. Signs, wonders, and miracles flow upon you now as, as you symbolically um, as we pray together. And, and the mediator, the Spirit of God is in the midst of this. And, and the healing virtue of Yeshua HaMashiach, Jesus Christ, be upon you now and heal you. Signs, wonders, and miracles be upon you now in the name of Yeshua HaMashiach, the spirit of Rukadash. Amen. Praise God. Praise Yahweh. Amen. Praise God. Shalom, shalom, shalom. Holy Supreme's peace surpasses all understanding. None is ever, never broken, complete peace of God. May you go in the controlity of God. May you go in, in a wholeness of God. May everything be not severed, not broken, but at peace. As the Prince of Peace, the Spirit of God, Yeshua HaMashiach, and the King of Peace, Yahweh, be with you today and forever. Shalom. Amen. Go forth. Go forth in faith, the building blocks today and forever. God bless. Love you. Shalom.